Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. So today we are going to turn these pants into this. Definitely a fan favorite for the strip clubs. <laughs> All right, through movie magic, I actually don't know what these are going to look like. I'm showing you what they look like at the end, right? So the reality is we are doing some of this for the first time. This video is gonna take more than one day, so hopefully I'll be able to get a different video done after I start this one. These pair of pants I absolutely love. Uh, unfortunately, down in the bottom, right, near where the ass is or the crotch, there is a hole. No! And that's not repairable. You can't put a patch, this or that. The pants are gonna be bad. So I thought, you know what? Why don't we use this to make a video? And uh, maybe that will stop me from throwing them away. And I know I should, right? Because there's a hole like where the ass is. But I just figure AC. <laughs> Anyways, really what this is, is to practice because I've never bleached my jeans before. So I wanna bleach them and then we're going to paint them. You're gonna need certain things, right? I'm using a bucket right here. Well, probably mostly so you could see it on camera. You could do this in your sink. You just put the stopper down and you're gonna mix like a three to one ratio more or less of bleach and water. So right in here, I have like five liters of water. I'm gonna take one and a half liters of this bleach. I think this bottle is a two liter bottle and we are going to pour it inside of here, right? Now you should have something. For example, you should have some gloves or you should have like a silicone stir that you could mix with the bleach, etc. You might wanna wear the gloves and you might wanna wear clothes that you don't get bleach on. For example, if I spill this bleach on the couch, it will ruin the couch. It will have white spots on it. it will totally... So hopefully I don't screw anything up right now. <laughs> Please. Anyway, so like I said, we're gonna pour in maybe, I don't know, a little over half or maybe three quarters of this bottle, right? So let's see where we're at right now. You would think I could see. We got a ways to go, I think. And again, you wanna be careful. You do not want this to splash. Like it is splashing a little bit right now. That's not a good thing because, where is it? It's there. Because, like I said, if this gets on your clothes, it gets on your furniture, you are screwed. Let's just say that's good. Now, depending on the strength of the bleach will determine how long this takes from what I've read, right? First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna take the silicone uh, stir. And by the way, I just use this for art. I do not use this for food. So it doesn't bother me about putting in bleach or doing this and that. Uh, so just be careful. If you use something that you use for food, that's probably a bad idea. I would use something specific that you don't mind using in things that you'll never put food on or your mouth on or something like that. So all I'm doing is mixing this up. And again, I'm not going too crazy because this thing held, holds 10 liters and probably there's like a little under seven in there right now. So we wanna be careful. I don't wanna spill this anywhere, but I do wanna get everything mixed up, right? I'm gonna take the pants and I'm gonna put them inside of here and then we are going to wait. The thing is, probably around five hours. Every hour or so, coming in, turning the pants over because I'm gonna pick, and what I'm gonna pick, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold them up like so. It doesn't have to be perfect. And whichever way I put them in here, later on, I'm gonna unfold, flip it around, etc. So the gloves will be good for that. And again, I'm just gonna put this down, right? inside here. I'm pressing down with my uh, spatula. Let's grab the GoPro so you can see a bit better, right? So I'm just coming in here. I'm pressing everything down. I want to make sure it's submerged. Everything is covered in our uh, bleach uh, liquid juice infusion. Obviously do not drink this. You will die. <laughs> bleach is dangerous, right? Sometimes you feel like you don't need to say these kind of things, but the reality is some people need to hear this shit, right? <laughs> I don't know, did I put it back where it was? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just gonna press this down. Now, you know what I should have done is I should have went to the beach, grabbed a rock or something to make sure everything stays submerged because the reality is some of the pants is poking out of the solution, but that's okay. Cause like I said, in an hour, I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna flip it, up, uh, flip it around and we'll do that every hour for five hours. I'm not gonna show you that in the video. I don't think you need to see me flipping every single time, but that's the point. For the next five hours, every hour, I'm gonna flip the pants so what's on the bottom is then on the top to make sure we get even coverage. I'll po poke it down with this, etc. Of course, I'll use gloves. Be careful with whatever clothes you're wearing. I don't care if bleach got on this shirt because I have like a hundred of them. So, uh, and then the pants I'd probably be irritated, but you know, YOLO, baby. <laughs> Couple other things you're gonna want. now. I'm gonna put this outside actually. I just have it in here for right now because there are fumes because this is bleach. 
<laughs> you do not want to breathe these fumes in. You want to have your door open. If you have this happening inside, somewhere where there's airflow, breathing in bleach is bad for your health, etc. So just be careful. If you guys replicate this, just be careful. That's all I can say. Next, what do you need? I'm just gonna say a couple other things. You need uh, some type of fabric medium. I'm using Golden's GAC 900, right? This is not the cheapest fabric medium, but I love this stuff if I'm gonna paint on clothes, which I have painted on clothes before, so I know how that works. I've just never bleached uh, jeans before, so that's the only thing that's a first time for me. We're gonna mix a one-to-one -one ratio of this with different paint. I don't know if I'm gonna use red. I just grabbed a couple tubes of paint to show you. And anyway, this is, uh, I have lots of different manufacturers' brands of paints. I just grabbed these to show you. I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna paint. Obviously, it's gonna be related to the channel, but okay, we need a fabric medium, which you could use Golden GAC 900, or you could use a from a different brand, like Liquitex or whoever. Uh, and then paint, right, acrylic paint. So. I'm gonna put this off to the side. Again, be careful about breathing these fumes. It's not good. As soon as I stop this video, I'm gonna take this, put it on the balcony, like I said, every hour, flip it, bada, bing, bada, boom. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow, right? Well, for this video, hopefully it's released tomorrow. But what's gonna happen, I'm gonna flip it every five hours. Then I'm gonna take it, put it in the sink, and I'm gonna rinse it with water, right? After I rinse it with water, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the wash by itself. I'm gonna wash it and then I'm gonna dry it and then tomorrow we're gonna to have our bleached pants which we are then going to paint. I'll see you guys then, baby. All right, I was gonna skip showing you this but this is after four hours. I decided four hours. Now, mind you, this is not totally you know, white or whatever but keep in mind when this dries, it should be a lighter color. So also, I wanted you to see the water and bleach mixture is this like greenish brown, right? So I've come over here to my sink to dump everything out. I'm gonna do it slowly. After I do that, I'm gonna put the, the jeans in the sink. I'm gonna rinse them with water. I will not be able to do that with one hand, so I'll have to put the phone down. But after I rinse this, I'm gonna go ahead and wash the jeans in the, the, the washer. Then I'm gonna dry them, and I will see you guys at that point. All right, so it's the next day. I've got the pants right here. Look how much lighter these things are, right? Now here's the thing. I did them in this little tub. If you did it in a bathtub or something like that where the pants were moved more, then you wouldn't have this kind of issue, you see? So there's areas where it didn't bleach as much. I mean, this is still lighter than it originally was, but not as light as it got in other places. These little marks right here are from paint because I paint and I get paint on my clothes sometimes and I don't worry about that, but they are much more pronounced now that this thing has been bleached or, yeah, so. What I did is, or what I have, is I have some boards and I'm gonna put them in one of the pants legs. I thought about it all day yesterday because obviously I'd, I'd, all I did was bleach them and then wash them. And I thought, what am I going to do? And I thought, well, if I really put a lot of effort into these, remember, they have a hole in them. You know, am I gonna wear them all the time? Probably not, you know what I mean? It's not a repairable hole. I just was trying to repurpose pants that I didn't wanna throw away. And uh, yeah, anyway, so I thought, I want to do enough work so it's impressive, but at the same time, I don't want to put in too much work because they have a hole in them, right? <laughs> but then I thought maybe make more holes. Who cares there's a hole in the crotch? I mean, I wear boxers usually anyway, so it's not like my balls are going to fall out. <laughs> Anyways, the reason I got the boards is because I want to put them inside the legs, and then that way when you paint, when the paint seeps through the pants, it doesn't go to the other side. Otherwise, you'll have like dots and whatever. And I thought I'd record this to say what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna do a time lapse for the rest of it. So this is not necessarily a painting course, but what you wanna do is you wanna have a fabric medium, right? Because I'm using acrylic paint, and I have a couple different brands here. Like for example, I have Liquitex. It's a, in a tub like this. This is like a medium body acrylic right here. These are soft bodied acrylics, uh, or, or not so heavy. Uh, these are fluid acrylics right here. Um, and these are regular acrylics as well. So the idea is you mix 50% of one of these paints, you know, with 50% fabric medium. And what that allows is that when the paint dries, it's not gonna dry hard. So you're not gonna have like this thing that's gonna crack and break and whatever. In fact, it should eliminate the cracking, right? 
If you mix it with fluid colors like these, which are already liquidy, right, then it will bleed more when you paint it on the pants. That's something important to note. If you use a heavy body acrylic, which I don't, I didn't bring one over here because I don't think I'm gonna use one, and I don't have very many heavy bodied acrylics, then it will have like a real crisp edge to your lines. And these soft bodies are, will have a medium edge. Anyways, keep that in mind as you paint. I brought all different kinds of brushes, you know, bigger brushes to do bigger swashes. And I have a design that I came up with yesterday. It's a mix mash, basically. Let me show you on this other camera. Something to this effect, right? Now, I'm not worried about following it 100%. It's a tentacle holding a bong. And if what I painted on, it's a little bit different than this, I'm not really worried about that much, right? I have these stirs right here and these cups right here because I'm gonna mix in these cups, the paint, stir up, etc. I have these uh, clips which are actually used for film, but I'm gonna use them to stretch the pants where I'm painting so that the lines will be the way they will be. If you start painting and it's just like loose or whatever, it may change when it stretches or, anyways, so that's something important to note. You also should decide how you're going to paint. Like, do you wanna paint on the side of the leg? Then you need to orient it as such, or do you wanna paint on the front of the leg? And I think I've decided I'm gonna paint on the front of the leg, just one leg, the tentacle, the other leg, maybe put a couple weed leaves, and that's it, and we'll call it a day. So I'm not gonna talk anymore. I think you guys got it. I'll use a Sharpie um, to do my, my drawing and then I will start to paint. And yeah, you guys will see what it looks like. I have no idea. <laughs> maybe it will come out trash <laughs> or maybe it will come out good. So let's puff, let's pass. I have no one to pass it to, but anyways, I'm gonna set up the top down camera so we can do a time lapse with the GoPro. I have the tripod with like an arm that comes across so it'll look down. Hopefully you'll be able to see very well. I'll see you guys when this is done and we will Put the pants on. So this is where we're at. I finished painting this yesterday. I decided to do the other uh, side of the pant leg because, you know, for symmetry or whatever, my OCD goes crazy. The reality is though, I stopped somewhere around the, the knee. 
I think, the size of these boards. So I'm not exactly sure I didn't measure whatever. But I thought, you know, anyways, this is kind of a test. Number one, I've never bleached pants before. I have painted pants before, but I've never bleached it before. So I wanted to see how that all works. And this gave me a reason not to throw these away. Remember, they have a hole somewhere in the crotch. So it also is another reason that I stopped continuing. Otherwise, maybe I would have done the top part of the pant legs too. In fact, if you guys want me to continue on these pants, leave it in the comments, or we can start as a brand new set of pants that don't have a hole and then I'll, I'll feel like putting more effort into it. Because in the end, after putting in X amount of hours into something like this, you don't want to do it for pants that, that you might throw away or have hole. Anyways, or maybe I do a shirt, right? I paint a shirt, I give it away on the channel, but the thing is, I don't know who's gonna win it, so I don't know the size they are. Anyways, let, leave in the comments, what do you guys think, right? So the next step after you paint the pants, you should wait 24 hours for it to dry. Now mind you, we did not wait 24 hours for this to dry, uh, which, but I've had a fan on it. So I'm hoping that evened out the dry time. On this side, this stuff dried very quickly because it's thin layers of paint. But on this side, I've dabbed on the paint. So if you look, it's slightly, I don't know, glossy-ish in some places and still a bit sticky, but it's dry to the touch. I'll show you on this camera right here. It's dry to the touch but it is a little sticky at certain spots. So what that means is when we heat set this, and you need to heat set it, right? Uh, what you should do is get a piece of fabric. I mean, this is a towel that I use to clean with or do stuff with, whatever. Uh, and you need to put that on top of your, your jeans or whatever you're painting, and then take your iron on either a medium or a high, between medium or high, right? I have it on high because these are jeans, but if it was a t-shirt, maybe you'd have it on medium. And what we wanna do is make sure that there is no steam, there's no water in your iron, et cetera. This is just dry heat. We're not trying to remove any wrinkles. What we're trying to do is set the paint. So what we're gonna do is we're really gonna heat this up. So as we go over this, right? And you just, the reason that we're using the towel is just in case that paint lifts and it sticks on this towel, that's fine if it does a little bit, right? But uh, it probably won't on this side. On this side, it might, right? Also, if you don't wait long enough for it to dry, right, at least 24 hours usually, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna hear the paint sizzle. And that's because there's water in there, it's heating up, and it's like, uh, it's like you have something on the stove, huh? But if you wait long enough and it dries fully, then better. So on this side, probably we should wait a few more days. But I guess the way I look at this is this was just a test to show you guys and, and check interest. Like if you guys are into stuff like this, I like doing stuff like this. So I can make tons of customized clothing or whatever and show you guys and share with you guys. Shit, even give some of it away for free, right? So leave in the comments what you guys think, if you're into it or what, and yeah. So again, I'm just sitting in certain spots. This is gonna get hot, right? If I touch this right now, it's quite hot. So be careful as you're doing this. The iron's hot. What you're ironing after some time is gonna be quite hot. So just be careful. Another thing you might wanna do is take the iron to the side. We probably should have already done this, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine. Is peel this up and look and see is any of the paint transferring to this, right? Which it might on this side. But right on this side, is, it looks like everything is fine. Now mind you, when we finish heat setting this, and let me just finish saying this and then I'll time lapse the next part, is after we heat set this, we can put these on. But you should not wash these for four days. And the reason you shouldn't wash them for four days is to make sure they further dehydrate, et cetera. And then at that point, when you wash them, none of the paint is gonna have any issues. It's gonna be part of the fabric and you're gonna be good to go, right? Another thing is we may have put stuff on a little bit thick here. You should avoid doing that. You don't want texture when you're painting fabric. You want everything to be light coats. And if I was taking this super seriously, that I probably would have layered this many times. Let things dry, then put a, because if you notice when I was painting this, or maybe anyway, it's a time lapse, I'll say that I, I didn't take my time, I, I didn't layer too much. While stuff was wet, I'd put the next thing, and probably that's ideal, right? Is to wait for it to dry, then layer, et cetera, et cetera. Another thing you probably noticed in the time lapse is the clips that I had taken to use, I couldn't put them here because they'd raise the board. If you got those little paper clips or whatever and put them on the side and you could fold them in, that would have been better and it would have been easier to paint because when I was taking the marker, these jeans are a bit stretchy so the, the, the fabric might move a little. But if I had stretched it, put the pins or the, the clips, then it would have been easier to draw without the fabric moving, et cetera. Just a tip, right? So I'm gonna shut up. I'm just gonna start ironing this. We're gonna heat set this then I'm going to put them on so you can see we'll turn off the lights I'll get the black light because there's a lot of fluorescent ink in here so it's gonna look super cool in the black light I thought you guys might want to see that I'm not gonna show you the fact that I wait four days for it to dry but uh, or wait four days before I wash it but that's a step that you need to know right 
Anyways, let me shut up. We'll be back when I'm done with this and we'll try them on. One thing to note is I left the wood inside of this uh, and if we were going to paint the top half we still would have done this. Heat set the bottom, then we'd move the wood, etc. I wouldn't have moved to the next part to do it until this was heat set so I don't have to worry about this. So this side is done, we could pull this piece of wood out and there we go, right? Now mind you, it's uh, after you wash this, give it four days, you wash it, notice the, the paint is not going to crack or have issues and that's because we use the fabric medium. Now, if it does crack anywhere, maybe we didn't use enough fabric medium or something like that, but that's something that will come in time with experience and so forth. I'm gonna move this off to the side and let's do this side. Now again, I told you that you might hear this sizzle because I don't know for sure that this paint is dry, huh? So, <laughs> because there's certain parts where I wonder. But anyways. <laughs> I'm just gonna check, right? <laughs> Are we having issues here? You know what's interesting is it looks like something from this towel came here, right? Let me switch the towels just in case, huh? I don't know, I wonder where I got this. It says Pisces on it. I don't know who gave it to you because I'm not a Pisces. I'm a Leo. Anyways. So the reason I turned this on the side is because there's a bit that I painted off to the side, so let's just make sure we set that as well. Now mind you, if you don't set this correctly, when you go to wash it, some of the colors will either fade or wash out or something like that, or it's possible. It may not, but it's possible. So this is why you want to heat set it. So these colors really are part of the fabric. And better to overdo this than to underdo it, you know what I mean? That being said, don't do this for like an hour or something like that. <laughs> I'll be at five minutes, 10 minutes, should be good enough. All right, let's go ahead, let's turn this puppy off. Let's peel this up, comes up no problem. This, this other towel imparted a couple like white specks here. I don't know if that will come off when you wash or, or when I wash it or not, but we'll let's see. Let's take the piece of wood out. and you can see on the board that some of the paint did come through, right? That's normal, right? Obviously, whether you use the piece of board or you use something else to put between it, if you didn't, then on the back side of this pan, some of that paint would have seeped through, right? All right, so let me go ahead and pause the video or whatever, and I'll be right back, and I'll be wearing the pants, baby! All right, so I don't know if this is the best way to show you the pants on, but here they are. Maybe I should stand on the coffee table, huh? All right. So here we are, the pants, huh? A little bit no, below the knee is where the design stops. And mind you, this is not as soft as the fabric is, right? But after we wait four days and wash it, then where the paint is, it should be more soft just as the fabric is, right? Just know that this feels like there's something on it. But after you wash, it should be a lot better. And yeah, so what do you guys think of the design? Super cool, huh? I'm gonna turn off the lights right now after you guys have a chance to check it out and I'm gonna show you what these look like in the black light. I don't know if I'm modeling or staying in one position slow enough so you could really appreciate them, but here they are, right? Anyways, let's turn off the lights, put on the black light, baby. Definitely a fan favorite for the strip clubs. <laughs> Guys, I hope you like this video. Whatever a video takes multiple days to do, I always, my brain is like, wait a second, where are we? What are we doing? So really, please leave in the comments if you like this video. If you do, then I will make more videos of customizing clothing that's cannabis related or whatever, maybe give some stuff away. Anyways, tell me what you guys think of the pants, baby. Guys. Gals, everybody, I hope you like this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. Woo! Till next time, I'm out!